Hello everyone. Um, as always, I'm Luther FM. Uh, I just want to do a quick intro, really, um, just to say thank you to everyone who's been watching me and uh, subscribing so far. I do appreciate it. Um, I would like some comments uh, about these videos, just to give me an idea of what people like or don't like. So, if you could, could you just leave? If if you watch the video, could you just leave a comment just let me know like i said if it's bad um let me know if you don't like my booking style on tw let me know what you would like me to do instead um if you don't like the way i do the videos the editing and stuff like that, just please let me know because it all helps me um but yeah thank you as always and um i'm looking forward to doing this episode for you um moving forward though i'll probably be posting a TW video on um, Thursdays and Sundays. So you'll get your TW 2020 fix Thursdays and Sundays, and then the rest of the days will be Football Manager stuff. So yeah, so if you want me to do more than two episodes, also let me know in the comment section. If two's enough, that's fine. If two's too much and you prefer just to do one a week, let me know as well. It all helps. Like I said, feedback is always good. So yeah, but anyway... I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the video. Thank you. Hello, I am back, Lucha FM, with my Fight Club Pro recreation, local to global save on TW 2020, um, where you left us off last. We are now, um, where is it? Two percent prestige and thirteen percent momentum. We got six and a half grand in the bank. Um, mostly because of sponsorship, a bit because of the alliance, etc., and little things like ticket sales and stuff like that. Uh, if I just quickly show you the finance. So, yeah, so this month we've made, I mean, it's only the second week of the month, but we've made £1,457 from performance, £1,500 from sponsors, um, only £13 so far from merchandise. We tend to make about £60 per show merchandise and um the alliance let's have a look at the alliance so yeah we tend to get like three thousand four thousand so we get about three grand from that so that kind of props us up and keeps us out of the red basically um but yeah and next let's have a look at our previous show for show history so the last show we did uh best match was Ginny versus Lana Austin Ginny and Kenny Williams seem to be the standout performers um and then i think it's usually maybe tk cooper D uh, danny luna on the women's side and uh kid lycos um the billington brothers are pretty good as well so yeah so i think right let's get on with the yeah i think the best thing to do is get on with the next show i think maybe i'll do a main event with like a five on five main event. I think that's what we'll do first. So, oh, hold on, we need to do this first backstage incidents. Johnny Kidd has taken Blue Kane under his wing as his protege. So, hopefully, that'll help Blue Kane. Right. So, I'm thinking a five versus five match to for the main event. I've gone the wrong way. Sorry. There we go. So uh, I think we'll do the British Empire, which is Kenny Williams, Joseph Connors, Mark Billington, Thomas Billington, and Ginny. And then we'll go, we'll have them against Kid Lycos, um, Morgan Webster, Jim Hunter, Lee Hunter, and Millie. So that's our main event sorted. We'll just have that as 20 minutes. We'll do storytelling for this one. Oh, I forgot I forgot to change the uh, the product. I'll change the product after this show. So we don't have to keep doing different match chains and we can just do what we want. So yes, yeah, so we'll have that as the main event. And then we'll do an angle with Kenny Williams on the microphone. Ginny on the microphone, 
Now we'll just leave the others in the background, but they're not rated, so it won't affect it too much. Oh, okay. So, right, we need to put Kenny Williams on a script. That's fine. Oh, hold on. Let's you know that he'd prefer to work without a script. Okay, that's fine. Right. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. And then we just got to book the rest of the show now, which is pretty, should be pretty straightforward. So we'll do a tag match with, uh, with our only other tag team that we've got. Oh, I think I did change the project, uh, because uh, we have no deposition now. So I think we might have changed the product. Oh, we did change the project. We just got to wait a while, I think. I'll have a look in a sec. Uh, right, so we go that, and then this way it makes it a lot easier when it comes to booking because we can just book anybody against anybody. So we can have TK Cooper tag up with Luke Jacobs, for instance. We'll have Connor Mills and Michael Oku as the winners. We'll go, uh, no, we'll just leave it as that. That's that, sorted. Right, done 53 minutes so far. We'll do a women's match. We'll do a four-way. Right, Danny Luna, Lana Rostin, Aaliyah James. Who else should we have? Killer Kelly. Um, do that 20 minutes done right so that's that done so we've done 76 minutes so we've still got quite a lot to go um, right let's think who else do a one on one match see who we've got left on the male side of things there we go blue cane we'll have blue cane uh, we'll do Shea Persa with 15 minutes uh, comedy yeah it's fine I'll ignore that advice it will be rubbish um, but we'll have that as our opener match I think so it won't affect the rating overall right we'll do another match Uh, we'll do Nina, we'll do Chardonnay versus Nina Samuels. Right, they're not happy about something here. You should be, you will be penalised because there's less than three matches. Ah, okay, so we do have to do different names on these. So we'll just pick this and we'll pick Arm the Crowd. And we'll just shift that up there. And now we'll do, uh, no, it's not what I wanted to click on. Uh, that one. And what we'll do is we'll do high spots. That one. And so, right, they seem happy with that. So, Right, let's go. Uh, hold on, let me just check. Shows expecting around 75% matches. You're currently too high at 95. Oh, currently you're too high. Oh, so work would be penalised. Right, okay. Right, so we just need to add some storyline angles. So we'll just do Blue Cane, Entertainment, Shea, Entertainment. Need six minutes for that. Push that, uh, yeah, we'll leave that there. And we'll push that up there afterwards. We'll do the match first. Um, right, 90. So I still need to do some more angles, annoyingly. We'll do Danny Luna, Entertainment, Killer Kelly, and 
Entertainment. Who was the other wrestlers in that match? Lana Austin and Aaliyah James. Aaliyah James. Lana. Just do them. We'll just have an entertainment angle with them. And then, right, who else? All right, 86. So we're still. That would not be Pianolis, so that's fine. So we'll leave as that. Right, so this only got a 9 rating. Poor Blue Cade. Um, but yeah, this did not go well. The belt. The belt. I keep saying. I can't say belt properly. I keep calling it belt. I think it's. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, the match dragged in the middle. So yeah. I'm determined to get Blue Cane over if it kills me. Right. The angle with the four women got 32. Three women enjoyed being off script. Uh, Lana Rasta did, didn't they? The match got a 43 rating. Killer Kelly won. Who was the standout performer? Uh, Killer Kelly and then Danny Luna. So maybe have them in a singles match next. Oh, I can't. Danny Luna's injured. But at some point, Danny Luna versus Killer Kelly. Uh, Nina Samuels defeated Chardonnay in 20 minutes. Uh, got a 55 rating. Um, Chardonnay is pretty good in this database. Got a 59 rating. Nina Samuels needs to be rated better. Though. She's, a good, she's a good women's wrestler. Good character as well. So the tag team match featuring Destination Everywhere versus TK Cooper and Luke Jacobs got a 52 rating, which ain't too bad. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to have new, a new superstar tag team because there's nothing to tell me that they, they had excellent chemistry together. So we'll try and figure out some of the combinations and put them together. Um, the angle did well with the five wrestlers in the British Empire. And then the main event got a 65 rating. Uh, British Empire won uh, when um, Kenny Williams pinned Jim Hunter. Overall, got a 57 rating, 64 people turned up, and we improved the popularity in that region. That's good. Oh, God, look at this scumbag, Jerry Ryan. Ugh, vomit inducing. I'm glad he's not in wrestling anymore. I don't know how he managed to get away with what he got away with over the years. Um, like a lot of wrestlers, unfortunately. I think that's why the British wrestling scene was closed down for such a long period of time. Uh, Jim Smallman has said that Luke Jacobs is turning into a good worker. The kid's worth getting behind, so we might start pushing him a bit. Danny Luna's injured. How long is she injured for? Uh, where is medical on it? There we go. Oh, only five days. She'll be back for the next show. Right then, I'll be back in a minute with the next sh show. Oh yeah, so I just thought I'd come back before the next show because I've had this come up in my inbox items and I don't think I've ever seen this before, so it's quite funny. So, uh, well, I wouldn't say funny, but um, yeah, so... Lucky Kid and Charlie Evans now hate each other due to the fallout from the Charlie Evans-Drew Parker affair. So apparently, Charlie Evans and Cole Fletcher have broken up, even though in real life Cole Fletcher is with Blue Sky. Lucky, 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 lucky man, by the way. Um, when the former was caught cheating with Drew Parker. So, uh, yeah, so Lucky Kid and Charlie Evans hate each other. Uh, Carl Fletcher and Drew Parker hate each other. Joe Nelson and Charlie Evans now hate each other. Um, Drew Parker and Joe Nelson hate each other. Jonathan Gresham and Drew Parker hate each other. Lucky Kid and Drew Parker hate each other. Uh, Mark Davis and Charlie Evans hate each other. Mark Davis and Drew Parker hate each other. Tiffany Thatcher and Charlie Evans hate each other. Uh, so does Timmy Fletcher and Drew Parker. Gunther and Charlie Evans now hate each other. Oh, no. Gunther and Drew Parker hate each other. Chris Brooks and Charlie Evans hate each other. Chris Brooks and Drew Parker hate each other. And Jonathan Gresham and Charlie Evans hate each other. 
So there you go. Um, shall I go for Rampage Brown? Oh, I don't click too many times. How much does he want? Oh no, definitely not. Not that price, bloody hell. Right, Danny Luna's fully fit as well. But yeah, that was quite funny. So what I'm gonna have to do to keep the harmony is get rid of Drew Parker and Charlie Evans, which isn't a big loss because I don't think Drew Parker's wrestled here. Um and Charlie Evans has only wrestled a couple of times, so Right, so Jerry Nelson's happy about it. I need to get rid of Charlie Evans as well. I think Millie McKenzie won't be happy about this, though. So. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. Right, but, uh, uh, right there, so that's that. So our next show is in two days. So um, I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, and we're back for the next part of the episode. Um, we've got our next show and um called big strong boys so i want to try and just do all singles matches preferably in these in this one so what we'll do is we'll do killer kelly versus um who should we have millie have millie um do that one 20 minutes and then we'll do do another women's match. We'll do Ginny versus um, should do Chardonnay because she did all right last show. So we'll do Chardonnay this one. See how she does against the best women's wrestler in the on the roster. All right, so that's that. Um, we'll put Ginny winning this one. That we'll do. Oh, we'll put Millie as the winner on this one. Um, we'll do Joseph Connors versus who should we put him against? Michael Oakey. And we'll do that as storytelling. Better do an angle. The annoying thing about this new style is for some reason we can only have 75% matches now. That's a bit annoying. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying. I've got. I couldn't figure off. off. I couldn't figure out what I was doing. Right, so we'll do uh, Kenny Williams versus uh, who should we have them against? TK Cooper? And then we'll do still the show for this one. Hopefully it will still the show. We'll ignore that because if I change the match length, um, it will it will say that the match should have been longer. So we'll try it this way and we'll see what happens from this one. Right, but that's the main event we just need to do. We'll do an angle for it as well. Kenny Williams, microphone, TK Cooper, we'll just leave not rated. Push that up. Right, so how long have we done so far? 100 minutes. So, so we wouldn't be penalised at this point. We've just got to make sure. Uh, we've got to do one more match, I think. So, uh, do Blue Cane. We'll have Blue Cane in the opening match. Uh, male, and then we'll have him against 
Sam Bailey. And we'll have Blue Cane win this. The push for Blue Cane begins. Domination, Blue Cane. Protect, Blue Cane. Keep strong. No, really keep strong. Uh, keep it simple, Blue Cane. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Right, 15 minutes. So, right. Um, so that'll be the open match. So luckily it won't affect the show rating overall. Let's just check this. Uh, very unhappy. That's fine. Okay, so we do that. Uh, wild Brawl. We'll try Wild Brawl, see if that helps in any way. Might not. Right, let's start the show. Let's see what happens with this. Uh, Blue Kane got his best rating so far. Um, 14. Oh, yeah, so got, off the, got the show off to a strong start. Um, Sam Bailey only got a 16, so, but it's a, it's a, it's the start of the blue game push. So that's all that matters to us at the moment. Uh, we did the angle, we got a 53 rating. The match between Joseph Connors and Michael Oku got a 73 rating, which is really good. Joseph Connors won. Uh, yeah, Joseph Connors heads, heads above. Michael Oku, even though in real life that's probably not not the case, but right. So in a match that had good heat, uh, superb wrestling, good heat, got seventy five right here. Ginny defeated Chardonnay, so that's good. They got good, reasonably good chemistry together, and Ginny seemed off her game as well, apparently. So that's good. Fifty eight right in for the Millie McKenzie Killer Kelly match. Uh, Killer Kelly being the stand up performer. And then the angle with Kenny Williams, TK Cooper got a 52 rating. And the match only got a 63 rating, probably because I did the steal the show thing. But yeah. Yeah, TK Cooper and, and uh, Kenny Williams don't have very good chemistry either. And uh, also TK Cooper gassed out near the end. So, But overall, relatively good show. 63 rating, 66 people. Popularity improved in one region, so that's good. Um, always room for improvement. Let me know in the comments section if you have any booking advice for me. I really would appreciate it because, like I said, I'm not the best at playing this game. So if anybody wants to leave me any feedback, please do. I would really appreciate it. As always, I want to try and turn these into the best promotion in the world. And I might not be able to do it on my own. Um, We've got five and a half, no, sorry, £5,634 available. We made £3,123 last. Uh, we've got 2% prestige and 15% momentum now. So that's good. Um, let me just quickly, let me look at the show history. So we did 66 people. Oh, that's our first show of the year. Of the year. Let me just check. Yeah, let's just go all shows. So we got 64 attendance the last one before that, 63. So the attendance is going up slowly, a little bit at a time. Let's have a look at the finances. So we were minus 2.53, so basically just paying off the wrestlers for performing. Ticket sales, we got 594, which is slightly up than the last show. Uh, sponsorship, not as much at the moment, but then it's only the start of the month. Merchandise only 48, but again, there's still a long time. There's still another week to go yet. Uh, and we haven't had our alliance payment yet, so hopefully we'll be slightly up in, by the end of this month. Um, but yeah, I'll be... Um, in fact, let me just have a quick look at broadcasters. Let's see if anybody wants to... Would be willing to negotiate with us. Oh, there we go. This could be interesting. Let's just have a quick look. We do. Oh, I don't know. Um, 
Moin Zoll. Uh, I'm not very good at this. I'm not willing to know, deal that long. Facebook. Okay. Okay, so we go, right. No, I don't want to do it six months. Right, so they want to do it three months. We'll go the late night one. And then we'd have to pay, so we don't want to pay anything. Oh, okay, we might well have to pay anyway, so. Purpose of the deal, let's have a look at this. No. Uh, not pay anything per show in this deal. Oh well, I don't think I'll bother with that one then. They're not willing to pay us anything, what's the point? Right, let's try this one. WXW now. Actually, look, before we do that, let's try YouTube. YouTube Britain. Right, so not willing to offer you deal that long. So they only wanted to give us three months as well. Late night. They don't want to pay anything either. We preferably want one where we're making money. Should we try YouTube Europe? It'd probably be the same. Um Right, late night. Yeah, so every one of these so far is we're having to pay. Right, so this is our last hope. WXW now. So, deal that long. So they don't want us to give us a long deal as well. Um, We're not paying anything for this deal. We're not paying anything for this deal. So, hold on, let's try. Right, so there you go. So if we go, if we get 55% of the revenue split, so we get a slightly higher revenue split. So we're going to go with this one. Please let me know in the comments section if I've done good there or I've done really bad. And then what we're going to do is we'll try, because we need exposure. Uh, all of these are tiny popularity. So we go... Right, so what we'll do is we'll go into events, events and TV, and then what we'll do is we'll add a new TV show. Let's just see if we can find. Hey, I, I don't mind that. FCW Afterburn sounds all right to me. Uh, that'll do. We'll just leave that as the logo. I'll have it on a... Tuesday, so it doesn't conflict with any other, like WWE or AW. Uh, no, I don't one. There we go. Um, so yeah, so we'll just leave it as an hour for now. Save that, and then we'll go back into broadcasters. No, no. That one sorry everyone right reset yes we we'll go facebook let's try facebook um new deal for afterburn rejected the request as applications they feel like the company of your size does not really have the fan base to okay that's fine we'll try let's try wxw now see if they will oh wrong one nope and nobody wants our TV show by the looks of it. It's fine. We've got one for events. So we are on the up. Got our first broadcasting deal. But we can leave that there for now. We can always... Oh, no. I don't want to exit. We can always go back to afterwards. Right then. I'll be back in a minute then with the next uh, show. Right. And we're back. Um, we've got our next show now, which is called Death Machine. Named after Sammy Callahan, who was a regular for Fight Club Pro back in the day. Um, we've just got a few incidents we need to work our way through. Um, 
Doug Williams almost got into a fight with Kenny Williams after he caused some damage to rental car and refused to pay for it. As his employee, we now have to choose how to deal with Doug Williams. So what I'm going to do is fine him. He's annoyed. I don't care. There we go. We've got to keep Kenny Williams happy. Uh, Dale Mills was brought into the wrestler's court, accused of making a mess backstage and not cleaning up, annoying everyone else. The judge, Alex Shane, found him guilty and sentenced him to clean it up, then buy drinks for everyone to show. Uh, there you go. And it had a small positive impact on him. Johnny Kidd has been passing on tips on using psychology to his protege, Blue K. Johnny Kidd has the professional personality and is currently pleased. Um, Blue Kane has a professional personality. He's quite pleased as well. So there you go. That's good. Right. Ah, oh, there we go. So this is our first show under our new broadcaster, WXW Now. Uh, minimum quality is 18, which we should be able to do. Yep, that's fine. Uh, let me just actually check how much how much money we've got. I forgot to tell you. So we've got £17,858, which is a hell of a jump. Um, well, let me have a look at the finances. So last month we made £15,000 from the sh from it. So we've made £7,000 from performance, £3,000 from sponsors, and £8,000 from the Alliance. So the Alliance is working really well for us. That's right. Sorry. That's, uh, my dog was playing up then. Um, so yeah, so we're doing really well. So let's see how we get on with our first show i will say that the next episode you might see some new faces that's all i'm saying um i will have a little look offline and hopefully bring in some new wrestlers because i feel like the roster's getting a bit like i mean we've done we've done this we've had the same roster now for a, a probably a year in game in gameplay on here so we could do with having some new new people in here now just to freshen it up a bit um, but yeah, right. We haven't got much of a roster here, so that's not good. Um, we just got to make do with what we've got. So we've got Aaliyah James. We'll put her against Lana Austin, I think. Oh, actually, no. We need to do the main event first, don't we? Uh, male. Ginny available? Ginny's available, actually. I might have a main event of Ginny versus... Mm, no. No, I don't think the main event would do well if we had this. Uh, Semi-main event, maybe? So, yeah. Anyway, right, let's go. Male. Is Kenny Williams available? Yes, he is. Right. So we'll do Kenny Williams versus... Who do we have him go against? Who's he not wrestled yet? I think he's wrestled everybody. It feels like he's wrestled everybody. Uh, should we try Doris? Let's try Doris. As always, Kenny Williams, the winner. And we'll have it as, uh, we'll just leave it as a normal match, I think. Do an angle. Doris. Do that. There we go. Right, and then we'll have Ginny in a match. Who do we have Ginny against? Uh, hmm, Killer Kelly. Have we done Nina Samuels yet? I don't think we've done Nina Samuels yet. Actually, no, she wasn't rated very well last time. Uh, again, I feel like Ginny's wrestled everybody here. Just recently. Shall we try Candy Floss? Let's try Candy Floss. Hopefully, we'll have a decent match with Candy Floss. Ginny the winner. Um, storytelling, maybe. There we go. Storytelling. Uh, let's do a tag team match now. Who have we got? Right, so we have got we've got these. Um, we've got the Hunter Brothers. We've got these though. Well, they'll probably have a better match with these. Oh, we can't actually do that much. 
because one of the Bimington brothers is injured, I forgot to say. So we do Hunter Brothers. There we go. This is a fresh matchup because I don't think we've done these two in a two versus two much, so hopefully this will work out well. Uh if we go steal the show, we'll still we'll try and steal the show with this. Oh no, we can't do we can't do steal the show. I just thought Jim Hunter's not able to do that. Uh click the match. Do an angle before it as well. Connor Mills. Script these. Michael Oku. Jim Hunter. Oh. Microphone. Lee Hunter. Microphone. There we go. So that's that side. Um, do a couple more singles matches. Who have we got left? Right, male. Luke Jacobs. Versus uh, Mark Billington, because I think Thomas is injured. It might be Mark, actually. I know, it's, uh, it's Mark that's injured, so we need to put Thomas Billington in there. We have this one to steal the show. Yeah, we'll have this one to steal the show. All right, so how are we doing for... So we're doing a 99 minutes so far. Um, just need to do another match. Do Blue Kane. Got them against Elijah because Elijah hasn't wrestled yet. Uh, like that. Um, Blue Kane, the winner. Domination Blue Kane. Protect Blue Kane. And then we'll do, do another Wild Brawl. And then we'll do an angle with Blue Kane before the where he beats him up. After the we'll do that after the match. Right, let's just check. Everybody seem that seems happy. So let's uh, see how we get on. Oh, got a thirty rating. That's really good. Elijah's actually pretty good worker, to be honest. Well, he'd do well to carry old school, uh, Gary Blue Kane to his best match yet, so that's good. Angle afterwards got a 26. Blue Kane is the man. Um, 64 rating for a, a match with the tag team wrestlers, pretty good. Thomas Billington is. Thomas Billington and Mark Billington are actually very good. So um, Luke Jacobs did all right as well. Uh, unfortunately, Tom Campbell from Cultaholic performance was pretty weak, unfortunately. I still rate you, Tom, so don't worry if you ever watch this. Um, big, big, big fan of Cultaholic podcast. If you, if you haven't listened to it already, give it a listen. They are very entertaining and very knowledgeable um, and just seem like a really good bunch of lads. So yeah, highly recommended it. Highly recommend it, sorry. Uh, the match got the crowd buzzing. It's good. The tag match, oh no, it's the angle. So we did angle. Uh, no issues. The angle was it was what it was. It was all right. The tag team match that I did got a 60 rating. Um, Destination Everywhere won. And then Ginny could only get a 61 rating out of this match with Candy Floss, unfortunately. Uh, we could do with probably getting a better announcer, unfortunately, to Tom Campbell. Uh, and then the angle with Kenny Williams and Doris got a 54 rating. And the match got a 66 rating. Uh, 82, 82 in ring performance for Kenny Williams. I need to find some better wrestlers to go against Kenny Williams because he's outperforming everybody at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, we need to improve on our announcers now because WXW now 
don't rate them. It was fine before when we didn't have a broadcasting deal, but anyway. So we improved, increased our popularity in nine regions. Wow, that's really good. And we got 74 people, which is the most we've ever done. 61 rating for the match. So that's really good. There's a lot of positives from that. Uh, I'm really happy with that. That's really good. Let's just have a little look after this when this finishes. But yeah, that's really good. Improved our popularity. Um, viewing figures, 600 viewers. So not too bad. Good start. Let's hope we can improve on that in time. 12,000, so it cost us a bit, but we'll be all right financially. 16% momentum now, 2% pre uh, prestige. So yeah, it's a good way to end the episode. Um, thank you, as always, everyone. And um, I will be back on Sunday with another episode. Cheers. Bye.